Hello, Hamline Chapel. It's great to see you online today. If we haven't met yet, my name's Ryan Good. I'm the new pastor that was recently appointed here at Hamline. I started just two days ago on July 1st, and it's been a bit of a whirlwind ever since. Uh, as you know, there's a global pandemic on, and uh, things just are different. Uh, for instance, the sanctuary behind us, it's empty, and it's been empty for several months, and we miss you. We miss having you uh, in the seats on Sunday. We miss being able to gather together to sing and to worship. You may have heard that we have a worship, uh, we have a church safety team uh, that recently made the decision to not open our building for public worship until the month of October. And let me tell you, I know that a lot of you are disappointed uh, in that news. And I know that it's uh, a little difficult to look around and see some of our friends and their buildings have opened and they've gathered uh, back together for worship and to know that our facility is not open for that at this time. And uh, I totally understand those feelings, uh, but we're trusting in our safety team and the work that they put together and feeling that we can't open in a way that's going to be safe for all of our people. And uh, so they've made the decision to delay our opening for a while. And that's no judgment on other groups or on us. And uh, everybody's trying to make the best decisions for their people during this time. And uh, so we trust in our leadership and trust that they're making the right decisions and uh, doing things that are best uh, for you and for me. And uh, of course, following the principle of we want to do no harm. We don't want to uh, put people in a position of uh, being at risk and they've made that decision. And uh, so we're going to respect the decision of that committee. And although you may be disappointed, I want to tell you, we have some really exciting things in store for our church that even though we can't meet in this space physically, just like we're meeting right now, uh, we have some great ideas and uh, some great potential for us to connect with one another uh, online and through the internet. And uh, some of those things that you've already experienced is a lot of you probably received a phone call today uh, letting you know about our service plans for tomorrow. Uh, we've implemented a phone tree where we're able to reach out to all of our members and uh, people that are connected here to let you know what's going on in the life of ministry here at the church. If you did not get a phone call or you haven't received one of those phone calls, hey, send us a message through this page, call the church office, uh, reach out to me and let us know and we'll make sure that you get added to that list and you start receiving those phone calls with updates and information on things that are happening here around the church. Uh, we have some great things that are in store for the future. Some of you have already experienced uh, one of our online Bible studies. We have a group of women in the church uh, that have been meeting weekly, uh, studying the book of Philippians together. Uh, if you're not a part of that and you want to be a part of that, again, send us a message, call the church office, and we will make sure that you get connected to that group. And our hope is to have more and more of these groups available online uh, to be able to help you connect with other people during a time where we feel it's not safe for us to meet physically here in our building. Uh, we have some other things in store, such as some uh, midweek worship options that I think are going to be great and a good way for us to connect. We also have plans some just Zoom hangouts, sometimes for us to uh, just connect online and to check in on one another. Uh, that way we have some new things in the works for children's ministry. And so if you uh, have some children at home and you don't feel safe going to a church children's ministry somewhere in person, we're gonna have some online options for you that I think you're really going to uh, enjoy and connect with and your kids uh, are for sure uh, going to love. We also know that everyone doesn't have internet access. And so we uh, have a group of people that are already working and putting together some plans to make sure that uh, just because you don't have access to the internet or you might not have a tablet or a PC or something or a computer where you can connect online uh, that you don't miss out on what's happening. And so uh, we have some people that are diligently working to put together a plan uh, to connect with folks that, that don't have uh, internet capabilities as well. So these are really unique times that we're in and uh, we have to be creative in our responses and I greatly appreciate uh, your patience and your understanding. I know it's not ideal and I know that uh, everybody's not doing the same thing and it makes things a little confusing at times and uh, we might even feel like we're missing out on something but uh, I believe it's a good opportunity for us to grow and it's a good opportunity uh, for us to just develop in our understanding of 
what church is and what community is. And uh, so I'm excited to see how God uh, uses this time. I know there's an Albert Einstein quote that uh, has been sticking in my head recently during these times where he says that in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. And these are difficult times for us, uh, but I believe that there's some great opportunity for us to be able to be creative and to look for new ways of doing ministry and knowing that this isn't forever and someday soon we hope to have these doors open and to be gathering to worship here in this uh, beautiful sanctuary. And uh, so I look forward to that day, I long for that day where we can do that. Um, but I want to let you know this Sunday morning what our plans are. This Sunday at 11 o'clock here on this page there will be a uh, just a, a video that's loaded to the page that will be our message for the week. And so at 11 o'clock, give or take, barring no technical difficulties, you'll be able to view that video uh, online uh, on this page, and we hope to have it uploaded to YouTube as well. And then uh, later in the day at 11.30, there are plans for us to all gather together for a time of fellowship and prayer in a Zoom meeting together. And so links and details will be posted below this video, uh, but we encourage you and invite you to join us at 11.30 for that uh, Zoom call where we can fellowship with one another, connect with each other, uh, just check in, see how we're doing, but also have a time of prayer and just encouragement for each other. So hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for liking this page. Uh, make sure you're following it. There's going to be a lot of updates and a lot of new things that are happening that you won't want to miss out on. And uh, again, I'm thrilled to be your pastor. If you need anything, if you need prayer, if you need some help or encouragement or anything, feel free to call the church office, email me, call me, text me, reach out to us. Uh, we want to be a church uh, that, that's helpful to you and is a blessing to your life. And so just know we're, we're an old church, uh, but we're excited about bringing new life. And uh, we're excited about bringing new life to our community, to our neighbors, uh, to one another. And there are some great days ahead for Hamline Chapel. And I hope that you will be a part of it with us. So tune in Sunday, 11 o'clock, watch for our message to drop. And then uh, feel free to hop on and join us with our Zoom call at 1130 on Sunday. We'll see you then. God bless you.